bones in this video we are going to talk about bones what are these bones press your hand to your head face arms and other parts of your body don't you feel something hard beneath the flesh the hard part that you feel beneath the soft fleshy part are the bones and what do bones do bones give our body structure and rigidity they join and work together to let our body move in many ways and they also protect our internal organs for example the skull is a natural helmet that protects the brain the spine protects the nerves in the spinal cord the ribs protect our lungs heart and liver now we are going to learn about the skull spine ribs and other bones let's first talk about the parts in the skeleton that make movement possible these parts or these areas are called joints all our bones join and connect at special places called joints there is a special material called cartilage in the joints there is also some liquid between the two bones the cartilage and this liquid allow the bones to rub against each other and move without getting damaged that is the reason why it is only at these joints that movement is possible some joints allow more movement than others now let's learn more about these joints there are different types of joints in our body that make different movement possible ball and socket joints ball and socket joints are found in the hip and the shoulder these joints are the most mobile of all that's why the arm and the leg can move in so many directions at the shoulder and hip at the shoulder the shoulder bone has a cavity while the long arm bone is shaped as a ball at its end so the ball kind of fits in the cavity and can rotate and make movement possible in many ways similarly the hip bone provides the socket or the cavity while the long leg bone is shaped like a ball the hinge joints these joints work like the hinges on a door have you seen the door open and close and have you observed the hinges closely they allow the bones to move back and forth the knee and the elbow have hinge joints fixed joints certain bones in our body are fixed together and cannot be moved the skull is a fine example of a fixed joint where the bones are kind of fused like a jigsaw puzzle and there is no movement possible semi movable joints some joints in our body can move only a little they are found in our backbone the backbone has 24 small bones called the vertebrae that have semi movable joints now these semi movable joints or cartilages work together to allow bending or turning movement by the spine pivot joint in this joint a circular bone rotates around the axis of another bone The pivot joint is present in the neck and allows it to move in rotation.